Today, let's take a quick look at this Torch Labs Boss 35 here. This is an amazing flashlight. People rave about it, and I didn't really get the hype until I owned one. Um, first off, it's considerably smaller than it looks. Um, if I put it against a KR4 here, it looks a little smaller, but it's not until it's in your hands that you can really tell. Every dimension is smaller, it's lighter, it's just more thoughtfully constructed. Of course, there's a price tag that goes along with that, right? You can get five of the KR4s for the price of the Torch Labs Boss 35. But let's take a look at the programming, because I see these things, I see reviews on these Boss lights, and I never realized how amazing the driver was, how just simply amazing the programming and UI was. So let's take a look. Okay, a lot of lights have mode groups that you click a certain times on the tail cap and then you're able to pick from a menu of you know different output modes you want. But this light has a completely different way to do it. You actually go to a website. Now everything I say in this video, I've only had this light for a short amount of time and I'm still learning about it. This is what it appears to me. So, so feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. But it appears that Torch Labs has bought a driver from LuxRC and that LuxRC is maintaining the website that you use to program the flashlight. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to lux-rc.com. You're gonna click on the NXS right here, this little tiny button. And then you're gonna go down to NXS R1 programming and it reveals this menu system. Now mine's already set up a little bit, but when you enter this, it might look like this, where it says single battery setup. On the Torch Labs, and that's the only light I have that uses this engine, it doesn't matter whether you have the single battery setup or if you tell it that you have two batteries as well, even though obviously the light doesn't have two batteries. Basically the difference, the way I understand it, is that this driver has gone through multiple versions and some versions had the ability to set up four different modes and then the new ones can do eight. So by selecting both battery configurations, you get four here and then the other four here is for a total of eight. Another thing I noticed was when you go to set these up and you can put anything in here you want, okay? So like I got a red moonlight as the first option. If I click on this, it gives me a menu and I can choose any of these options. And notice it's got the output that the driver will use. It's not listed in lumens because that might vary depending on your emitter. But anyways, let's say I was gonna choose uh, this, this 10 hertz strobe here. So I click on that. That would mean that when I program the light, I'm gonna get a 10 hertz strobe as my first option. And then I would go to like a low moonlight and then a little brighter, brighter, brighter. You see all that. One thing I do wanna point out though, is if I turn this off for a second, you'll see that when I click on this, the brightest output it lets me select is 74%. That's based on the fact that it's only one battery and it's not gonna let you do turbo or something higher unless you had two battery configuration. So if I click out of this and go down to two battery, you'll see down here I can click on it and in fact there is above those values. I got 80% right here and 100%. Now I tested this on my single battery configuration and I'm using a vape cell uh, 18350, the, uh, the one that's like 11 amps. And I didn't see a lumen output difference on my lumen tube between 74% up to 100. So it seems like that's pretty true that these are all gonna be the same. And if you click down here on the one battery, again, you can see it only goes up to about 74%. So it looks like what they're doing makes a lot of sense. So that's the tricky thing, right? you should take note that there's configurations allowed in a two battery setup that probably won't be good for a single battery setup. However, you want it enabled so that you can get all eight groups for your programming. All right, if I've lost you, I'm sorry. This is just gonna be a quick overview. I'm not going into a lot of depth here. Maybe you'll pick it up. Maybe this will just help you find the right way to go. Because as I said, I was very confused when I first got it. Let's suffice to say that on my Torch Labs, I'm gonna have both batteries enabled. And then I do want a red moonlight. I want a very low moonlight. Uh, this is white, obviously, and then we'll go up. Now notice I have two that are not in use. That's because I feel like I don't need them. So you can actually program two modes, one mode, all eight modes, whatever you want, and the flashlight will just accept it. Now down here, you have options. 
And this is whether you want mode memory or not. This is, you know, whether we're gonna do low voltage protection. Um, this is how the driver is going to extend the battery life by lowering the lumens. And then down here at the very end here, this is the bounce switch. So if you have this enabled, uh, and then when it is enabled, you got the sensitivity slider here. You can set how sensitive you want the optical sensor on the light. And remember, there's an optical sensor on the end here. Um, it's one of these little guys. You can't really tell at the moment. But one of those little guys is the optical sensor. And um, the idea is that you know when you have it in your pocket and you turn it on, um, it's going to read that it's on in a close environment and then immediately go to uh, moonlight or some low mode. Let's take a look at how we actually program it now. So we're gonna have to talk about two things. The pins, the pins are a series of clicks you do on the back of the switch here. And then we're gonna have to talk about the LuxRC website and the optical programming. So first let's talk about the pins. Let me bring up the manual. Okay, so here is the Lux RC manual that talks a little bit about it. And again, this is very complicated and I'm just diving into it. But I want to point out that on the flashlight, not only can you set up exactly what you want with this website, but you can do it for four pages. So the flashlight really has four configurations at any one time. You don't have to use all four. You can just use one if you want. But it's got a the ability to switch between four different configurations. So you could have, let's say, eight different modes set up and these were all designed for, let's say, preserving night vision or aviation where you want very low light output. And then you can have another page which was for you know blasting and everything's really, really high. So it's, it's interesting that you can not only set up the configuration, not only exactly the way you want, but then have on the fly switching between four configurations. It's just a really great flashlight. So first off, let's take a look at how we would switch the pages because you have to be on the page you want to program. And today I'm going to program uh, file three. That's the one I'm going to do. So there's these things called pins. I'm going to scroll down here. And uh, this page right here has a little overview of how you do the pins. Basically what it is, is you look up these numbers and uh, let's just show you an example with the voltage meter here, okay? Voltage meter says that the pin configuration is 111. So what that means is I'm going to input one click, then wait one second, input one more click right here, wait one second, input one more click, and these are half clicks by the way, wait a second, and then a full click on. So let's take a look if I can do this on camera. Here we go. So I'm gonna go one, whoops, I didn't hit it. One, two, oh, that's too fast. Okay, that's way too fast, let's try it again. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, click. And you see it flashes three times white, and then it's gonna flash eight times red, meaning that the voltage is 3.8 volts. So that timing is kind of critical, and it took me a, a moment to master, and you notice I was counting it out with one 1,000. So the way I like to do it is I like to go however many clicks it is, then say 1,000, and then do the next one. So let's say I was going to do this one, which is a single pin, right? So show the uh, current number of file. What that means is I'm going to click it four times, wait a second, then click it on. So one, whoops, I didn't hit it. One, two, three, four, 1,000, click. Now you see it's flashing red, right? Well, it's red and white uh, uh, together. And if you notice the flashes are rotating, watch, this will be one, two, three, four. That would be select page four. So one, that would be select page one. Two flashes, select page two. Three flashes and click it off. So now I'm on page three of my flashlight. So now that I'm on page three, if I were to enter programming mode, which down here is either 112 or 222, and they both work. It just, uh, there's two set up for different manufacturers because I suppose a lot of third parties use this engine from LuxRC. So um, I'm used to doing the 112, uh, 222 will work, but let's do it. Um, so I'm going to enter the programming mode and you will see confirmation of that because the red Secondary will just be on, just it'll be solid. And then I'm gonna use this website over here to flash it, okay? So let me get that all set up. What I'm gonna do is, 
I am going to say save and program. And then I'm going to download as a video. Okay. Now it's made this video that starts with the green square here and then it flashes white. This is the programming video. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold your light up to that. I'll show you in a second. It's pretty cool actually. I'm going to save this video so I'll go ahead and download it. And then I'm going to send it to my iPad. So let's see if I can get this set to my iPad here. Okay, so off screen, I've downloaded this video and sent it to my iPad. I'm gonna take my iPad here and I'm going to just set it right like this. And you can see that the iPad has that video just as a giant square. And I'm gonna set my flashlight right on top of it. So once I enter programming mode, I'm gonna hit play and then this thing is just gonna program it. So let's take a look at that. First off, programming mode, let's go back to my computer screen here. It's 112 and I'm gonna set the flashlight into programming mode with the one, one, two pin. So we'll go one, 1,000, one, 1,000, one, two, 1,000, click. And that single red secondary means it's in programming mode. So I just set it on the video here and then I hit play. And it's going to play the flashes and program the light. Uh, it's beneficial to have the brightness up very high in your device, whether it's your monitor or your iPhone or something like that, have it all the way up. Once the programming is done, you're gonna pick up the light and you'll see the red secondary light is off. See, red light's off. Now I unclick it. And now, let me pull this iPad out of the way. We'll see that I have exactly the programming on that third page that I set up. So we had six modes, right? So if I go half press, I got the the uh, the red light, and I have I had uh, memory off. So when I click it again, it'll be red again. So memory's off on this page. So one second mode, third mode, fourth mode, fifth mode, sixth mode, and back to red. So there you go. We just successfully programmed this. So again, I hope that's a good kind of like uh, primer to get you going. Uh, it, it's complicated stuff, but man, is it powerful and amazing. So to get to this manual with all these pin codes, you would go to, uh, you can go to this link right here that I've highlighted, this uh, luxrc.com. That'll take you to it. How I found it was I just Googled lux-rc pin manual and I found it. Unfortunately, and I, I'm not sure that I understand this, um, I don't see the manuals linked from their website easily. Uh, I was I was chugging through their submenus here and I didn't find any manuals at all. Um, and even this programming was a little like hard for me to find. I mean, I eventually found it, now I'm used to it, but it's like I didn't know where I was looking at first. Uh, what have I put in manuals here? I haven't even done that. So maybe that's my bad. Put manuals. Well, there's a couple of manuals in here. This is for the minion, though. That's not the one we want. So I don't know. Maybe some of these. And this is a Google search, anyways. Look at that. It's just a manual site. It's just it's just it's just looking for the word manuals on the website we were on. So I guess my idea of uh, using Google to search for it wasn't such a bad idea because I just don't see it linked on here. But uh, again, if you go to uh, Google and let's go to Google and then you go Lux RC pin manual, um, it's the first link takes you to this guy right here. So hope that helps. Enjoy your Torch Labs. And if you don't have Torch Labs, now you can see maybe what some of the hype is about. It's uh, a really, really complicated, really impressive flashlight.